Hello and welcome to the la uh, lessons on layers. I'm uh, Vladimir Peransky, your instructor, and um, I'm going to demonstrate the basics of layers without using the lesson from the book at this very moment. If you notice under our layers panel, you will see that I have some text. I have a red layer, a blue layer, a green layer. Imagine layers like sheets of paper. When one is on top of the other, you don't see any other layer. For instance, if I take the blue layer and I move it slightly, notice you see, if I take the red layer and move it slightly, you'll notice that uh, you can see the blue layer below it. Notice I'm always, always seeing the text layer because the text layer is actually the top layer. Just like a sheet of paper, if you take some alphabet, cut out some alphabet out of a sheet of paper and place it onto your layers, onto the top of your stack of papers, you'll be able to see what's on top. Again, if you take the blue layer and move it slightly, now you see the layer below the blue layer, which is the green layer, which is covering the page. Again, take the layer and move it slightly. Now, you see the red, the blue, and the green layer, layer one, layer two, layer three. Notice when you see the back layer, when you see this triangle, well, excuse me, these little squares, this checkerboard pattern, it means a transparent layer. So therefore, there's nothing on that particular layer. Now, if I select my text tool, which is on the top layer, and place it, it's still there. It's just white and you don't see it very well. But if you look really closely, you can see the text layer. See that? So now I'm going to shuffle the layer around. I'm going to take blue and I'm going to put it on the bottom of the green. What is going to happen when I take blue, the blue layer, which is the middle layer, and bring it down to the bottom? Well, what I expect is this. The blue layer disappears. It's not that I deleted the layer. I moved it to a position that is being covered by this green layer. So if I select the blue layer, right, and I go ahead and move it. Give me one second. You can see it. There's the blue layer be hidden behind the green layer. See, I just move it right into the position. Now, if I move the green layer to the back again, you will see the blue layer again. So think of this as stacked papers on your desk. Whatever is on top is gonna be visible again. Let's go ahead and select the top three layers. And let me see, let me see what I want to do. I am looking for, a line. I'm going to align top edge and I'm going to do let me go ahead and grab the layers. I'm grabbing them all together. And I'm gonna just leave them just like that. I'm just gonna select the blue and move it over a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna move things a lot. There we go, so we can see the layers. And the text layer is being on top. Now, if I have three layers and I wanna show something underneath of layer, let me move the text down to between the layer, the red layer and the blue layer. Notice how the text is now between the blue and the red. Notice how you're only seeing a portion of the layer for the text, right? It is being covered by this red piece of paper. If I wanna uncover that particular layer, there's different things I can do. But the biggest thing I can do is A, move the layer back up and it's uncovered. If I want to uncover it just the way it is right now, 
I have two choices. I can rip the piece of paper out right here, exposing the bottom layer. And I'm going to rip that piece of paper out using the eraser tool. Actually, I'm going to use the selection tool. I'm going to do something tricky. I'm going to use the selection tool to make a selection. And now I'm going to use the eraser tool. What I just done, what I have done is I framed on the layer what's going to be erased. So now if I try to erase anything below that selection, it won't erase. Ah, look at that. And now my text is visible. But not only is my text visible, let me show you. Not only is my text visible, so is the underlying layer. The blue layer is now visible because I cut a portion of this text out. So now, let me go ahead and do this again with a different layer. Notice right now I right clicked and I hit select pixels. Notice the layer, the text layer is selected. I'm in a text layer. Let me go ahead and click on the red layer. I'm going to use the same concept and I'm going to use the eraser marker and I'm going to erase all of the text layer. Notice the blue is not being erased. Only the red got erased. So now Control D to deselect. It looks like this text layer is on top of the red layer. But when you check the layers on the uh, right hand side, you'll notice that the text layer is below the red. So watch what happens when I move the text layer. Notice it created a cutout. Let's go ahead and put this text layer back to where it was, and let's move a blue layer on top of it. So now the text layer is below blue, but you still see the word text. It's because the text layer is actually cut out of this particular red layer. So whatever layer I put below it, you'll see it. See that? Now, let's go ahead and select, right click and select pixels. Where is that? Do you guys see that? Select pixels. And now I'm going to put the text layer below the green layer. And now I'm going to select all three layers. And now I'm going to do the same thing. Notice three layers are selected and my text is outlined. I selected the pixels. So now I'm going to use my eraser tool. Give me the eraser tool. Erase on the green. Erase on the on the blue and erase on the red. Notice right now you see the text that is selected, which is white, because my text is white. Let me go ahead and deselect the eye to show you the text. Now you see the checkerboard pattern on the bottom of my text. So what did I just do? I just created and it deleted a portion of the layers so you guys can see the other layer on the bottom. Let me go ahead and move the text layer to a different location and see how the colors are changing. Let me go ahead and move the green to the upstairs. Notice how the layers are changing. This text is no longer this, this particular text tool. This is a hole punch inside my layer. And I'm seeing 
the blue layer underneath the green layer. See that? Through this hole that is being punched. Let me go ahead and reposition it. There's my blue and there's my red. So again, let's go ahead and hole punch the red layer. I'm selecting the red layer. I'm gonna select an eraser tool. Where is it at? There's my eraser tool. And I'm gonna punch a hole. When I punch a hole in the red layer, you'll see the layer below it. Now I select the blue tool. I'm going to punch a hole a little bit off skew, just like this. And now you can see the green layer because I punched a hole, a circle hole on the blue layer. So if you cover the red layer, there is my hole. And now I'm going to select the green layer and punch one more hole. So notice three layers, three holes, none of them are lined up, but you'll see the blue hole, the green hole. And your text is all the way on the bottom. So you're not really seeing your text because your text is white. So in order to see this text, you need to put it on the top layer and there is your white text that can be moved around again your text layer. Anyway, that was a short introduction to how layers work.